Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're gonna to be going through my Lightroom editing workflow. This isn't a video about diving into each individual tool, what it does, and the science behind it. Instead, I'm just gonna be showing you how I get my photos from A to B. Today, we're gonna to be taking this photo and turning it into this photo. So without further ado, let's dive into Lightroom and let's get this video started. Okay, so here we are inside of Lightroom. This is just a photo I dragged and dropped into here. I've done nothing special with the import, and we're just gonna dive into editing this shot. This, by the way, is a shot of my good friend Luca in Dubai. This was a trip we went on about two months ago now. It was a great trip and it was just in a random desert. Okay, so first things first, I come over and I pretty much just go down the entire list of settings. So I start in the basic tab, head down to the tone curve, and then so on and so forth. To be honest with you, nine times out of 10, I do start with one of my presets from my preset pack. If you guys wanna check that out, you can do so with the link in the description. Use the code EDITEASY for a cheeky little discount. And if you guys just wanna check out what these presets might do to this photo specifically, the portraits pack is one that I've been absolutely loving. So we've got portraits one, portraits two, Portraits three, portraits four, bit of a fan of that one to be honest, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These presets are designed a little bit differently than everyone else's, I can guarantee you that. But without further ado, let's dive into this photo edit. Okay, so first things first, I can notice that Luca is a little bit dark. So what I wanna do is I wanna just raise the shadows a little bit, and as you can see, that gives like a bit of a faded look to the whole image. I'm not a huge fan of that, so I'm gonna counter that by adding a little bit of contrast here, and then I'm also going to reduce reduce the blacks a little bit. Something I've been doing a lot recently is also reducing the clarity on my photos. It just gives a little bit more of a dreamier vibe, makes the background blur just stand out a little bit more and I like that. It also takes off a little bit of that digital, I guess, sharpening, which I'm not a huge fan of and this is something I've been doing with all my photos. I might also just increase the, uh, the exposure just a little bit here and we're also gonna pull down these highlights just a touch and we might reduce the shadows because we'll be able to we'll be able to lighten up Luca a little bit of a different way later on. I'm going to leave saturation and vibrance absolutely stock standard. This isn't something I play with. I play with all of that in the HSL tab below. Now onto the tone curve. This is something that I play around with quite a lot. To be honest with you, I am a huge fan of S curves and I do like a little bit of a faded look to the blacks. You might be asking yourself, Zach, you just removed the fade with the shadows, but that was kind of over the whole image. This just kind of fades out the blacks. It's a nice look and you can get that simply just by raising the blacks just there. I'm also gonna make this panel a little bit bigger. I think Lightroom just did a little bit of an update and that's why it, uh, that's why it went back to its default settings. But if we have a look at before and after, which you can do by just hitting backslash, I'm already liking the, um, I guess the tone of this image a little bit more. We also might just add a little bit of purple in here. I think uh, the sand is just looking a touch yellow. We're gonna be able to change that in the HSL below. And something that I do all the time is I just bounce around the tab. So yes, I'll go from basic to the tone curve to HSL and so be it. But I also come up back up to the basic tab. I'll go down to the HSL tab, then down to the color calibr the camera calibration tab and so on and so forth. So this is a little bit of a work in progress and it's just one of those things that you change one thing and then you need to change another thing. Okay, so down here, the first thing I wanna change is I wanna make the sand a little bit more orange than it is yellow. And we're also gonna desaturate it just a touch. <clears throat> okay, so I'm a huge fan of how this sand is looking now. I also wanna take the, uh, the scarf on Luca's head and make it a little bit more prominent. We're going to just uh, dial back the reds, make them a little bit more pinkish. And we're gonna turn the reds up a little bit. We also might look at uh, desaturating the oranges. I think this is gonna be a good look. Luca's skin tone is already very tan, so he doesn't really need help by saturating the oranges. And I think that kind of cleans up the head, the head dress, the head scarf. I'm really not sure what to call it, to be honest. Um, but that kind of cleans that up just a little bit as well. There is little to no green in this image. And when there isn't much of a color in a shot, I like to desaturate it quite a lot because I don't really want there to be any green in this regardless. I also don't want there to be any purple and I also don't want there to be any magenta. I would be careful about the magenta color if you do have skin tones in your image. But to be honest, I know that there is little to no magenta in Lucas' skin tone here whatsoever. We're shooting this at golden hour. It's not an up close shot of the face. So I'm not affecting things like the lips, the eyes and the nose. So this is no problem to do here. I'm also 
also just going to make the purples a little bit more blue. Like I said, I, in my opinion, I can't see any purples here, but just in case, it's kind of like uh, good housekeeping and good measures to take. There is a little bit of blue in this headdress here, believe it or not, if I saturate it, as you can see there, the bottom corner. So we are going to desaturate those blues and then we're going to increase the luminance, which makes them a little bit brighter. Just going to help the contrast with the red and the white just a little bit more. We're going to do the same thing with the aquas here. We're going to desaturate them as well. Okay, so now things are looking a little bit nicer. We've, got, we've already gone from this to this. I'm a big fan of how this looks. Okay, into the color grading tab of Lightroom. Something that I like to do a lot is add blues into the shadows. But in my opinion, in this shot here, I really don't want there to be any blues. This is a very warm image and I kind of want to keep it that way. This is in the desert. We're not in a city or in a snowy environment whatsoever. So we do want to lean into the warmth a little bit more than usual. I'm probably going to leave the shadows as is. I'm going to uh, just put a little bit of warmth into the mid-tones and then dial it back. This is something that I don't add a lot of saturation to. So I just play around with the sliders a little bit, get it to a color that I really like, and then I really dial back the saturation because I don't want to overdo it whatsoever. And then in the highlights here, I actually don't know whether blue is going to look a little bit nicer than orange will. We're obviously not going to go that harsh. You know what? I honestly think if we go to blue and we're just going to dial this back quite a lot. Now, this doesn't make a huge difference, but we can just turn each individual panel off by hitting this little switch. And you can just see there's just a little bit more of a, I don't know, there's just something about it. I do enjoy this color grading and then I'm going to come into the global color grading section of this and then I'm just going to add a little bit of, a little bit of warmth, a little bit of orange in there. And now we'll be able to see a much bigger difference. There we go. I'm liking that a lot, a lot more. We're going to dial this back just a little bit. We don't want it to become too harsh. And then we're also going to dial back the oranges just a touch, maybe also the yellows. There we go. All right. I'm really liking the look of this image. From here, I don't usually sharpen any of my images, to be honest, like I just genuinely don't. Um, I always just put a little bit of noise reduction in there. We're shooting at ISO 125, but one, this photo is going on Instagram, so I wanna make sure it looks super, super clean. And two, I'm not printing this or I'm not using it for a big publication or whatever the case. So the tiny little details, they don't make that much of a difference when push comes to shove. A lot of people might spend five or 10 minutes sharpening their photos and making them look all this and that. But in my opinion, if you're just posting them on Instagram or just using them for social media, this doesn't really need to happen. So anyway, let's continue. I've automatically got my lens Direction sorted out. I don't want to change any of the transform panel whatsoever. If I need to make a landscape or something look a little taller or squeeze it in, what I'll do is I'll change the aspect of the image. But as you can see, if I do that, Luca becomes a little bit of a giraffe. So if I have people in my image, I try and stray away from this as much as possible. I'm going to add my vignette later on with masks. I much prefer doing it that way. And then we're going to come into the camera calibration and we're just going to play around with things. This is just something that I push and pull. I'm really not too scientific about this whatsoever. If I like it this way, I'll go with that way. If I like it this way, I'll go with it that way. We're going to desaturate that just a little bit there. We're going to come over this side just a touch on the greens. We're going to leave these desaturated. And as you can see, once again, I'm really not making much of a change whatsoever. Like we've got minus two plus three. This isn't something that's gonna make a crazy big difference, but it's just a little bit of a touch, a little stylized touch. And that is the overall edit of the shot here. I might just brighten up Luca a little bit more just with the shadows there. And now we get onto the fun part. And the fun part is the masking part of this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna, Wow, okay, Lightroom's really just updated. The first thing I wanna do, and I really hope Lightroom hasn't changed this too much, is I'm going to create a radial filter around the image. I'm gonna invert this just up here. And then as you can see, we're just touching the corners of every area, and I'm just gonna dial this back just a little bit. This adds a little bit of a vignette. It's very, very subtle, but this is how I like it. I'm then gonna come in here and we're going to add another mask. We are going to add a linear gradient just on the bottom here. We're gonna drop the exposure. We're going to increase the contrast. We're gonna drop the shadows and we might just drop the exposure just a little bit more. And that is looking pretty damn good at the moment. I'm really liking this edit. Something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another radial filter. And this is just gonna be on the side here. This is gonna be something else that's very, very subtle. I wanna point this down just a little bit. The sun was already on the way down when we were shooting this. And I'm just gonna drop the dehaze slightly. Now, as you can see, if we go really, really crazy on this, it looks like the sun is in our shot. And of course, well, if you go the other way, it's quite the opposite. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of haze here. I really like this. And then I'm also gonna drop the clarity just a touch. Now, this has added just a slight bit of a yellowy color there. So I'm just gonna increase the tint 
on the purple side just a touch and there we go that's looking a lot nicer now something else i'm going to do is i'm going to select luca it's going to take a little while it's going to find luca in the shot and it's going to mask him out completely i used to have to do this and i guess everyone used to have to do this by drawing around him with the brush mask but this has now made a lot easier so as you can see here, we've selected the entire person. Now we're just gonna raise the exposure just a little bit here. And now I don't wanna fade out Luca whatsoever. So I'm gonna balance that by adding just a little bit of contrast and reducing the blacks just a little bit to make sure this still looks accurate and true to life. Because as you can see, if we were just to go crazy on this and go, well, not that crazy, but if we were to do this, it now makes the image look completely fake and it looks horrible. So we're gonna undo that and we're gonna go back to how this looked, which is much, much nicer. And now we've gone from this to this. I'm actually a really big fan of this image. I think this looks great. Last thing we're gonna do here is we are going to add another radial filter over the entire image. We're gonna invert it once again. Now this might look like we're doing the same thing, but we're actually gonna subtract from the mask. We're gonna use a brush here and then we're gonna brush out the sky because I don't want the sky to be dark whatsoever. And I'm also gonna brush out a little bit of the part that we added that dehaze filter um, in. We're gonna turn off auto mask, and really make sure we're cleaning up this completely. And then we're just gonna drop the shadows. And that's gonna add really, really nice effect and a lot of texture. We might increase the texture a little bit on the sand here. But these contrasting lines down here are amazing. I'm a huge fan of this. And I think this image is looking great. To be honest with you, this is pretty much done. There's one other thing I can see very, very quick. I'm gonna add another linear gradient to the top of the sky here. And we're just gonna cool this down. And then we're also gonna desaturate it just a little bit. And we might increase the exposure. It just looked like it was a little bit of a uh, darker orange in the sky, which is something that I do not want whatsoever. And actually, if we select, select sky, we can probably just increase the exposure just a little bit. We can drop this just a little bit and we can also desaturate it just a little bit. And this is also gonna help Luca stand out a lot more from the image. And now looking at the before and the after, I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. Okay, and to be honest with you, that is my Lightroom editing workflow. From here, I'd simply just export my photo, put it over on my phone, and then upload it on Instagram. And that is gonna wrap up today's video, guys. I hope this has been a little bit insightful for you. I did a video just like this, but I was color grading video. If you wanna check that out, that will be in the top corner somewhere. But like I said in the beginning of this video, if you do wanna check out my Lightroom presets and edit a little bit more like me and just speed up your entire editing workflow a little bit more, you can do so by clicking the link in the description and using the code edit easy but guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video leave a like down below if you're new around here subscribe and as always i will catch you in the next one peace